Another big story we're following for you right now is the Sandhurst fire that's burning near Ensign Peak right above the state capitol in Salt Lake City. It sparked on Saturday afternoon. Neighbors were evacuated from their homes. Our Jonathan May is on the story for us this evening. And Jonathan, have firefighters made progress today? And what about those evacuees? Well, Brian, first off, they have made progress indeed. They, they're pretty optimistic after battling the fires last night and this morning. Now, the fire is mapped at 204 acres. They're confident it will not grow in size. Right now, there are no reported injuries. The cause remains under investigation. As I step out of frame here real quick, to give you a better sense of look at around Enzyme Peak at the top there, you can't see much smoke rising in the sky much today to better get a sense of the progress made on the fire. Here's some video from yesterday. Firefighters tell me flames got about a half a mile from some people's homes. Although homes haven't, although promises haven't been made, excuse me, crews are confident the lines will hold and the fire will stay away from people's homes. As far as the evacuees you mentioned, Brian, the mandatory evacuation order is in, is in place for about 40 homes and will continue to be reassessed. The fire is still at 0% containment despite not growing in size today. Zero is not always the gr a, a great number, but uh, you know it allows us to just be able to be confident when we do tell you a number that, that then the public knows that we're, we're pretty uh, confident that nothing's gonna happen. Trick says they wanna get evacuees into their homes as soon as possible, but they wanna be confident the fire lines will hold first. We're expecting to hear more updates about this later tonight as crews will meet to discuss the fire. We expect to see possibly an update on the percent of containment and if the evacuation orders will be lifted. We'll of course keep you updated both on air and online at abc4.com. Reporting live near Enzyme Peak, Jonathan May, ABC4 News.